Hi and welcome back. Uh, it's Morgana here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a beautiful sunset lake uh, with lovely reflections. Uh, and to start with, you can see here I've drawn out a very, very, very rough sketch of uh, what I want it to look like. You can see uh, I've just positioned a sun, a tree and the waterline, uh, which you can see on the actual paper I'm using. I've taped off uh, and I've drawn a rough circle to show the sun, which is uh, my starting point for today. Uh, so I'm just going in here with a very, very, very pale wash of uh, gamberge yellow, uh, just to really give uh, a wonderful luminosity here. Uh, just going to spread it around the paper, get that water everywhere uh, to put in my uh, first initial wash. So now just coming in here along the bottom with some raw sienna. Uh, this is going to be in my horizon line. Uh, That's why I've marked it out with uh, masking tape because I want to keep this uh, nice and straight. Uh, just dabbing in the raw sienna there just to uh, get it some lovely uh, wet and wet effect there. Get it blending into the gamboge. Uh, that is the sort of the main sky colour that I want for this, uh, this band of uh, the paper. Um, I think it bleeds really beautifully into the gamboge and now you can see I'm leaving this uh, sort of gentle haze of uh, paler colour around the sun just like you would get in a photograph or you know just get in a, uh, in a wonderful sunset sky. Uh, and just up above just deepening this colour here uh, using some cerulean blue uh, just to show a bit of the actual sky colour. Just going to get that blending beautifully in with the, uh, the wet and wet diffusion. Uh, my board is at a slight angle, I think roughly sort of 45 degrees, maybe a little less, uh, which is why you can see the paint here is uh, just drifting down the colour, drifting down the page. Uh, so if anyone wants to do a graduated wash, this is uh, what I would recommend. Uh, the 45 degree angle, putting the paint at the top and just letting it drift down. You can see I've added some purple there as well. That is Purple Lake. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, you are going to see a lot of purple in this video. <laughs> as you could probably tell from the thumbnail. Um, but we'll get to that later. So you can see here, we've got some darker colour going in. This is, again, this is raw sienna, but um, quite highly concentrated this time. Just waiting for the camera to focus. Um, I'm just spraying lightly. You can see there my little spray bottle. Uh, just spraying lightly the page just to keep a little bit of moisture. Keep that wash. I don't want it soaking wet, but I do want it lightly damp. So at this paint here, you can see it's just diffusing in. I've got my got my raw sienna there on my brush and this is uh, this is for the first initial tree shapes you can see I'm just doing gentle lines and little dabs uh, along that taped off horizon line uh, just to so sort of the equivalent of penciling in some tree shadows there uh, just putting in some some rough shapes Now, coming back in with the uh, the promised purple, this is Purple Lake again, just using it to deepen the shadows here along the horizon line. And now I'm just going to blend it into these tree shapes, uh, just to give some uh, deeper tones, some shadows again, a little bit of uh, negative painting, if you like here, putting in some dark tones just over the light. Uh, you can see here, not being too precious about it, uh, I don't really have uh, a strict 
painting, a sort of photograph or image that I'm copying from here. This is just me making it up as I go along. And now you can see we've let that dry. Uh, the colours have lightened slightly. I'm um, really happy with how this uh, first initial stage has come up. So now I'm again using uh, Purple Lake and I'm using a very fine brush here. This is my Triple Zero round brush. Uh, and I'm just going in and putting some detail into these trees. Uh, I've got the initial shapes that I'm happy with, but uh, I want to show some branch detail as well, give them a bit of life. Uh, you can see as well that I'm darkening some of the lines here. This is actually uh, Prussian Blue that I'm using, Prussian Blue and Purple Lake. Uh, together, I think they both work wonderfully to do shadows uh, and to do the, uh, the negatives in this kind of painting. Um, so, you know, why use one when uh, you can use both? <laughs> you can see here, I'm just going to go in and do the rest of these trees uh, with the same technique. And this is again a combination of those two colours, just on my flat brush, uh, dabbing in here, a little bit more shadow, uh, a little bit more definition, a little bit of deeper colour on these trees to show uh, a little bit of life, a little bit of a uh, few leaves, a few branches, just get them a bit looking a bit more abstract and a bit less uh, twiggy. Just putting in another layer of scrubland or grassland or reeds or whatever your imagination thinks. You can see here, it's a little cut. Didn't want to make you watch me do the whole lot because again, it's exactly the same process. Going all along here, you can see I filled in the trees. Some are taller, some are smaller. I'm having trouble getting the uh, masking tape off, but uh, hooray, it comes away cleanly. This is what we like, a lovely clean line there. A uh, little smudge of purple, but that doesn't matter because once again I'm whacking straight in with some uh, really lovely pale yellow uh, for the bottom part of the painting. We're washing again. A little bit of dry brush here, I think, uh, with gamba's yellow and raw sienna. You can see I'm actually leaving part of this quite pale, you know, it's uh, quite quite, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite white, this little path that I've left, uh, just down from where the sun is. Obviously I want that light reflecting on the water. I don't want to make it too obvious, but I just decided to leave this little path here, uh, just to really give it a little bit of extra, a bit of extra shimmer here. Because although this is water, obviously I'm not doing it in blue, I'm doing it in yellow uh, to reflect the sunset sky. Uh, and I'm going to be filling it with uh, purple tree shadows, which you can see me doing here. Uh, this is uh, a lot quicker process than doing the, uh, the detailed trees because this is, uh, again, I'm using wet and wet technique here. You can see me blending uh, and you can see me spraying. Uh, I just really want the, uh, the colour here to diffuse gently down and to look all like, sort of hazy and shimmery and, you know, just, just like the reflections uh, in a still summer lake. You can see as well that I'm leaving just this very thin line of pale colour underneath the horizon line there. That's really important to leave that, uh, just for the illusion of the uh, of the lake shore and of the uh, the depth of field, if you could call it. I suppose the uh, the uh, the illusion that the lake is continuing beyond our line of sight there. That just gives it uh, that depth to the painting. So it's important to always leave that little line there. You can see now that those shadows have diffused, those reflections. Uh, I'm really happy with how they look, so I've decided to go in and, uh, same process, putting in a little bit more detail. Not as much this time, because obviously the detail on the water isn't going to be quite as, uh, quite as precise as the detail that I want uh, 
on the land because that's just our eyes seeing it. Whereas in the water, the reflections, they, uh, they shimmer, they look different, they don't look as clear. Uh, so you can see I'm just doing some, you know, not very careful lines. I'm just throwing the paint around a little bit, just having fun with it, putting in a bit of depth there, a bit of extra colour. And yeah, just, uh, just trying to, to sort of mirror the trees that I've already got. Now that those are done, you can see here just a little wash here. This is a combination of raw sienna and yellow ochre, just for a, uh, a lake shore. Basically the, uh, the near shore where us as a viewer would, would be standing. I uh, decided to do that in uh, similar colours to what you see in the horizon. Uh, and you can see, just putting in some little grasses here, uh, just to give a little bit of detail, some grasses or, or rushes or reeds or whatever your imagination uh, wants to call them. That's why I enjoy this uh, style of painting so much. It can be whatever you imagine it, you want it to be. And there we are. That's the finished painting. Thank you for watching everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing how I do my uh, reflections in the water. Um, I hope you like the painting. Um, if you did like it, please uh, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more content. Uh, it would really help me out. Uh, so yeah, that's all from me guys. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching and happy painting.